The banks and ATMs are all closed down. The shops will only barter for gold teeth and family heirlooms. Except, of course, the banks are never closed. They trade around the clock in silent algorithms faster than human consciousness can calculate. That's why I'm burning all my money. I'm taking it out of the bank, every penny or pound I can beg, borrow or steal, because otherwise it isn't real. I want to get the most liberating effect possible from burning all my money. I'm burning all my money because the devaluation of paper currency is inevitable anyway. And when they call in all my debts, they'll only send more red letters, more pointless pieces of paper with no value, or put me in a jail cell for the crime of burning all my money. The food bank queues are long and full of mothers. The welfare state has been sold off to property developers and pharmaceutical companies. Everything I pay tax on has been sold off at a loss to corporations who display the traits of psychopaths. And I won't stand for that. That's why I'm burning all my money. I'm burning all my money rather than see it bail out another bank that was too big to fail or line the pockets of another banker who should rightfully rot in jail. And it's not like anyone will care about my lack of wealth, my empty belly or my mental health. Things will remain exactly the same after I burn all my money. I'm burning all my money in stacks and piles. I don't need an art gallery to film or frame the act devoid of meaning. It is a statement about the futility of protest. It makes about as much sense as burning all your money. I'm burning all my money as one in the eye for every two-car family, every celebrity who ever appeared on MTV Cribs with a white stucco staircase and a grand piano, two Porsches and a Ferrari in the drive. Chills for a civilization with no regard for the weak which champions mediocrity. I want no part of that. I'm burning all my money. I'm burning it to staunch my guilt for every slave who toiled and built this edifice in which my family bore and raised and trapped me. This hollow church of shopping malls with blood and hair upon the walls with flame enough I'd burn it all just like I'll burn my money. I'm burning my money as penance for the waste I've made of all its products placed for all the cancer I've embraced and every drug shoved up my face the sleepless nights and days in haze long up in smoke just like my money. I'm burning it because until it burns I will never be free to die. I light the flame and close my eyes. This great parade of days will cease if you can't afford them. Burn your money. Burn your money because it makes sense. Burn it because it makes no sense. Burn it like a Buddhist monk protesting the Vietnam War. Burn it like an oil field in Iraq captured by Allied forces. Burn it like a wicker man. Burn it like a blunt. Burn it like a torture victim, face held over hot coals. Burn it because it feels good and you will only spend it on things that will destroy you. Burn it because the things you own end up owning you. Burn it because you need more light. Burn it because you don't own it anyway. Burn it because there is enough food produced globally to feed every starving mouth. Burn it because every day you piss away the compassion which can make the world a better place on pointless paraphernalia and obsolescent devices. Burn it because it is an admission that everything in this system is corrupt and degraded, but it can still do one thing for us. It can burn. I'm burning all my money and I'm starting today. I already feel much better now the decision is made. I'm tearing up my mortgage and throwing it away, kissing the wife and kids goodbye, and walking into the scene naked, clutching nothing but a lighter and a fiber. You won't see me for dust and ash. I'm burning all my money. <laughs>